Okay, um, this is going to be a tutorial for the guild too. Uh, it's a really good game. It's very unique. Um, <clears throat> but a lot of people didn't understand how to play it. Uh, they didn't understand. They, you know, they thought it was too confusing or whatever. So basically, um, I'm just going to show you guys how to start off uh, with the... Uh, I'm going to use the patron uh, class. The game has, I think, like four or five classes that you can choose from. And patron, I would say, would be the tutorial, the beginner class. Uh, the tutorial doesn't help much. <laughs> it's kind of overwhelming. And I know a lot of people felt overwhelmed by the game and the amount of things that you could do. So let's just get started. And I'm going to do a basic gameplay with Sherwood Forest. Um, you can change this easy, medium, hard, uh, whatever you choose. Number of dynasties. If you're starting off, I would just say put number of dynasties on two, set it to easy. And dynasty mode allows you to um, play the game and uh, um, there won't be, you know, you play until your dynasty dies out. So unless every family member gets killed, you know, you're not going to have to worry about, you know, getting killed. And in here at the coat of arms, you get to pick what color you want to be, you know, your shield style or whatever, your coat of arms. So, uh, all these settings look good. We're going to go ahead and start the game real quick. And this is just for beginners that don't know how to play. Um, I'm going to change this guy's name to, you know, Tom Billings. And I'm using a mechanical keyboard. So you're gonna hear that and I apologize for it my mouse is also a gaming mouse as well uh, so you're gonna hear that too and I apologize I'll try to uh, normalize my volume when I'm done and see you know if I can get it level or not but ultimately I'm not gonna be able to remove it entirely so I do apologize so here you get to pick your religion um, male or female class is patron and here you can see uh, there's four classes so rogue is probably one of the funnest but we're gonna start with patron it's the easiest start one in my opinion now zodiac signs here if you hold down right click it brings up a menu and shows you um different attributes like libra gives you plus one charisma for um patron i like to go with aquarius because i get a bonus to bargaining so when i'm distributing my points here I get you know a plus one to bargaining automatically and then this is the kind of setup that I like um, I like to focus on handicrafts which if you hold down uh, right mouse button again it will tell you that um, it improves production speed and businesses and bargaining um, bonus and selling goods and cheaper loans and then constitution is one of the most important ones because this is based on medieval times where everybody lived to be, you know, 40 years old or so, you know, 50s pushing it. So with a higher constitution, you can live longer. And that's very important to me, especially in my main first guy, because he's the guy that I invest everything into. And then my other family members, you know, not so much. I'll pick and choose which person I want to play from there on. But my main guy, he's he's the guy for me. You know, so this is how I, I broke up my points. And you can see, you know, if I if I remove some, I get some points back. But this is a style that I like. So here you can change your features to customize the guy to look and sound the way that you want him to sound. And I like the guy set up the way he is, so I'm going to go ahead and hit start game. Now, the first thing that you want to do is, you know, get a... Be aware of your surroundings. See what's what's around you because this is um, somewhat randomly generated to a degree. So there's a public house here, a bakery. Here's my home. And there's a house for sale. The gold icons above a business or home or whatever indicate that it is for sale. So, you know, you can see the various things. Here's a farm already set up. It is for sale, so I might try and actually purchase that building. 
and I don't have the right to buy the farm. So the first thing I want to do is click my guy and run next door to the uh, assembly hall or assembly house. And once I'm in there, I want to purchase a title. And with a title, it gives me the opportunity to own property. So I'm inside the facility now. And if I click on my guy, you can see there's options down here. So I'm going to go ahead and say purchase a title. And you can go into the building. I can double click my guy. And I'm moving the camera with Wasad. So this guy's talking to me. We can watch the whole thing or I can just close out of it. You know, and I can leave the building. So I got a notification here that Dynasty Mode found a family empire that will last long into the future. So now it's telling me that someone's talking to me and he wants me to purchase a title for $500. So I'm going to say, but of course. And that's going to give me the opportunity to be able to purchase land. And I'm hoping I can buy the farm. It may be too high a level for me, now that I think about it. So, because I'm only level one. And that's denoted by this star here. So, I did purchase the, the title. And let me see if I can buy this. And I don't have the right still. So, that's no big deal. I'm going to run my guy back to the house. So, I just left click to select them and then right click on the destination. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do construct building. Yeah, see, farms level three. So, I'm in the patron. These are the buildings available to me. So, I'm going to go ahead and buy the uh the croft and i forget how to rotate buildings in this one i know that there is a way to do it okay if you just hold down left control and then just move your mouse around you can rotate the building so i kind of want to rotate and plan for the future future builds and I'm going to get it as close as possible here and boom I just bought the building I invested four thousand dollars into the construction of said building so while that's being built I'm going to select my guy again go to important units and then look for best candidates for marriage and I'm going to hold down right mouse but button to uh to pick out somebody now these people those first two were high in arcane knowledge so chances are they're gonna be a different class than what I want. This woman is high in dexterity, so she's probably gonna be a rogue. Um, this one's high in empathy. I don't know what that denotes. And charisma and bargaining. So I'm gonna go. Ooh, she's 40. Never mind. <laughs> um, actually, I think I'll just go. I'll go with the 18 year old here. She'll live the longest. And what I'll do is, with my guy still left click selected, I'm going to go to court somebody, left click, and then left click her. And she's a rogue. Um, that would do, though. That would do. So I'm just going to say, okay. And my he's going to do that. And I can double click and follow him. Left mouse button zooms in, or middle mouse button zooms in and out. Um... The thing that confuses people is micromanaging, and you really don't have to micromanage much. He's going to court, so as long as I keep an eye on that heart, I can go do whatever I want. Right now, I'm going to run over to my building here, my croft, and I'm going to buy a field. And I'm going to put one field here, and then I'm going to buy another field and put it right next to it. So... With my cross selected, I can hit the production and storeroom. I can see I have one worker, uh, Katrina. Now this looks like Katrina right here. So I'm gonna hold down middle mouse wheel. If I click and hold it in, I can rotate the camera. I'm gonna select Katrina and I'm gonna tell her to sow crops here. So with her selected, I'm gonna left click. Oops. 
Let me select her again. I'm going to right click and then tell her to make sugar beets there.